is just a small sample of the exemplary work of Dan Tyson. We were lucky enough to have him on our show today, and he's going to talk about his career, his path, and how he's paving the way for aspiring musicians in Asia and Vietnam in general. So please join me in welcoming Dan Tyson. International Chopin Piano Music Competition. Born in 1958 into an artistic family, Dan Tai Sung was destined for a life as a musician, learning his doorway knees before the age of four. At 18 years old, Dan Tai Sung studied at the Jagatsky Conservatory in the former Soviet Union. He created a new phenomenon for Vietnam at the age of 22 by gaining recognition taking from first prize at the 10th Japan Piano Music Competition in 1980. More correctly, I should call you People's Artist, Dan Tai Sen, because you were given that honorary title, is that correct? Well, it's probably uh, about more than 20 years ago, more than 20 just years. after the, uh, in the uh, Chopin competition mm -hmm. in 1980. Were gonna I was the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> the youngest People's Artist? <laughs> We'll talk about that in a minute, but first I want to thank you. Uh, I want to you know, thank you very much for coming to the show. This is your second trip to Vietnam in three months' time, which is fairly short. So what brings you to Vietnam this time around? Yeah, usually I come once a year to Vietnam, and this time very relatively short, quite short distance. Um, probably um, because uh, we had a talk with my own friend, it's the mm -hmm. uh, director of the... Vietnam National Symphony Orchestra, mm -hmm. and we would like to make a joint concert. Mm -hmm. And well, it's sound to me a, a very interesting idea. It's a charity concert, so I decided to come back right away. And as you know, it's the uh, charity concert for the uh, uh, UAV team of the. Uh, Orange Arden, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So these charity concerts that you give, you're, you're pretty familiar with them then. You're, you're coming back to, to perform in these things that are helping um, the community, the, the country in some way. Uh, every concert season, I always keep certain number of the concerts um, dedicated for the charity, charity, project. The charity project. So it can be um, quite different sometimes as for the um, victim of the natural disasters mm -hmm. like an earthquake, like tsunami. a flooding, tsunami, mm -hmm. exactly. And sometimes uh, I play for a senior house mm -hmm. in the hospital for the handicapped children. Mm -hmm. uh, and recently it's more focusing on uh, for the uh, fundraising for our support um, we call a music education program for Vietnam. Oh, okay. So that's why. Oh, it's quite a variety. Yeah. But when I just heard the first time about the uh, victim of the uh, orange item, that is catch my attention and even my heart right mm -hmm. away. Because mm -hmm. I think one thing, the victim of the uh, natural disaster is already very bad and very painful, really deep, and um, they should be compensated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So natural disaster is something out of your control, really, but this, uh, when you say inflicted by another human being, it's yeah. not more, it hits your heart more, right? Yeah, I heart. think uh, it's, it's more emotional, yeah. More emotional. Now, this time, you brought music lovers in Vietnam, classical music lovers in Vietnam, something interesting. What did you bring them in during this performance? Uh, this time we choose to play uh, the concerto Chopin number no. one with the uh, orchestra here. We uh, just talk very much with them how to choose a right program. Mm -hmm. Because if I play usually more than concert, usually uh, the audience is music lover and they come into a recent concert. But the charity project is a bit special. Mm -hmm. There's some part of the music lover and some part of the uh, people that would come to make the contribute. To support the, exactly. to support the charity. So it should be some program, some music that's quite uh, well known mm -hmm. and uh, popular. Mm -hmm. So among the piano concerto repertory, Chopin Concerto is one of the most popular. 
The concert hall of the Hanoi Opera House breaks to a thundering applause when world renowned pianist Dr. Tai Sun enters the stage. Sun returns to Vietnam this time to take part in the two benefit concerts, Win Forever, helping Urgent Orange dot some victims in Vietnam. No stranger to Chopin, Sun chose the technically demanding yet nuanced film Piano Concerto No. 1 in E minor, Opus 11 for the performance. the theatre and I felt like I wanted to applaud after each number. 